Hi Leo, welcome to your angel card reading for January. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. So I thought I'd switch it up this month. Instead of doing a uh, reading from your spirit guides, I decided to do an angel card reading. And I may, I may or may not be continuing these uh, spiritual series, but you can leave me a comment down below if you like these type of readings. They're not really getting the views and that kind of energy. So I figured if, you know, if you guys like this, maybe I'll continue to do it. I'm thinking of switching it up every month rather than doing either just a spirit message or an angel message. I may do like a sacred world messages or animal spirit messages or something like that, like switching in the theme up every month. So it's different, but still a spiritual reading or spiritual messages in some way, shape or form that you need to hear. So if you have any comments on that, you can let me know below. So just again, I may or may not be continuing these along with the general readings. I may not be continuing those either as they're not getting a lot of views. So I'm thinking of just doing bi-weekly uh, love readings, um, doing the um, love connection readings and the single readings. So I'm doing two of those a month for now, maybe sometime in the future, I'll pick up the generals and the spirituals again. But for now, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. And I've also just started a new series, the weekly element energy readings. So depending on how those go, I may or may not continue those. Maybe in the future, I will. Not sure. So, but uh, do let me know what you think. And if you're new, welcome. And I hope you enjoy this. So I hope everybody's doing well. Hope all Leos are doing well. I'm a Leo too. And I'm shuffling the wrong deck. The wrong deck. All right. So. I have three different angel decks here, and all the angel decks are listed below. So you can go to the description box and you can uh, check what decks I'm using. Uh, if you want to reach out for personal reading, how to do that. Uh, social media links are below. All Leo playlists are below also. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So if you want to go back and watch previous readings, you're more than welcome to. And if you like to tip or donate, that link is down below too. So a lot of stuff down there, so feel free to check that out. All right, so Leo, we have a guardian angel deck here, and then we have the archangel, the crystal angels, clarify with tarot, and then at the end, and that deck I'm not using, so put that there. At the end, I do have the uh, angel answers here. So I want you to think of a question you have in mind. It can be about anything that you would like an answer to from your angels, and we may get an answer. We may get advice or guidance on your question. So so let's see. So let's start with the guardian angel. Can we get, well, there you go. I guess these are your messages. I'm going to pull three from each oracle. I'm going to do that first. And then I will clarify each uh, oracle with one tarot. And then we'll pull your archangel card at the end. The uh, I'm sorry, the angel answers card at the end. So think of a question throughout this reading. It can be about anything, anything, anything you want. And uh, we'll see what we get for that. So let's get three. Let me move these over here. Let's get three of these for Leo. Can we have three Archangel cards for Leo, please? Spirit, what are the angel messages for Leo at this time? One, two, and three. And now we have the Crystal Angels. And we'll get three of these for you. Then I'll reveal them all. And then we'll clarify with the tarot. I have the Celtic tarot over there. All right. Three crystal angels for Leo, please, Spirit. Thank you so much at this time. At this time. One. Two more. Two. One more for Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what your angel messages are. Let's look at the guardian angel first. And we have forgiveness. So there may be forgiveness that needs to be had, forgiveness that needs to be asked. Um, let's see here. And we have Archangel Uriel. So here's an angel coming through for you that you may need to research on, ask for help from, work with, Archangel. And red is, I believe that's love and matters of the heart. But we'll see. Uh, we're going to read a little bit from... And then we have new beginnings here. So new beginnings. Forgiveness and new beginnings. So let's see. Forgiveness is pretty straightforward. That's just having forgiveness in your heart for people around you. Asking for forgiveness. Giving forgiveness. People, places, things, situations around you. 
um, that kind of energy and then new beginnings. So some, some sort of new beginning coming in for you. It could be about anything. It could be love. It could be career. It could be, it could be anything. It could be a new home. It could be a new car. It could be anything new coming in, some sort of new beginning coming in for you. So let's, I'm going to look up Archangel uh, Uriel and just read a little bit about um, that angel. So, you know, if you're not familiar, I'm not an angel expert by any means. So um, I'm just going to read a little snippet here. And if you want to do your own research, then please feel free. Uh, let's see. Working with the energy of Archangel Uriel enhances your spiritual vision and our ability to radiate the light of our soul in all that we do. It is especially useful if we suffer hostility or mistreatment from other people. Uriel can give us the inner peace to protect our own being and the strength to behave with compassion even to those who hurt us. So, wow. So that's really like having that strength and compassion to overcome something and to forgive something. So if somebody's mistreated you, if somebody has not been nice to you, um, in any way, shape, or form. It could be family, friend, co-worker, anything here. This is having the, could be having a new beginning with this situation and just having forgiveness and understanding and compassion and to have like a new beginning in the situation. So, all right, so let's see what we have here. We have relationship harmony. Wow, <laughs> I can't make this up. Archangel Ragul. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Wow. So exactly. I feel like forgiveness will bring relationship harmony. Working with Archangel Uriel to help in this process will bring in a new beginning in the situation here. Can't make this up. And now we have nurture Archangel Gabriel. You, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child for both activities are important for you right now. I don't know why there's a space right there. I always wondered that. There's no word there. So I don't know if it's just a type typo or if there's a missing word. I'm not sure here, but, um, so that's, you know, nurturing your own inner child. And I don't know if some of you have children, but, um, uh, nurturing family dynamic here will bring in relationship harmony here. Wow. And then we have clear your space, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use Feng Shui. So I feel like that is a separate message there, but doesn't have to be. And that could be, you know, clear your space. And they're talking about clutter and the energy around you. And it can also be just cluttering out any toxic negative energy, toxic cutting toxic cords if it have to be, or just the energy in which um, a situation is in. Just like resolving that and clearing that out of your energy. All right, so what do we have here for the crystal angels? We have Peridot, life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So exactly, so whatever happened here contained lessons and blessings and probably something you were meant to go through, life lessons you needed to experience for some reason. And then we've got a lot of purple here. Cellulite, own your divine power. And this just came out for Aries. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. And we have here turquoise, spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So some of you could be going on a new spiritual path or having a spiritual awakening or uh, being more in tune in touch with your spiritual side if you always been spiritual but you haven't really tapped into that energy maybe it's time to do that kind of energy and getting in that divine power and it could this could be all stemming from some sort of life lesson that you just went through uh, nurturing and clearing negative energy and forgiveness from some sort of relationship difficulties and like having this new beginning like overcoming that with Archangel Uriel. So I'm getting the strong message of Uriel here. Maybe somebody, an angel you may want to really look into. Um, as well as maybe Raguel and Gabriel. So, all right. So let's clarify these with the tarot for Leo. Leo. And, you know, and if this is about like a love relationship, it doesn't necessarily mean that... Um, if you feel like reuniting is not like an option, this doesn't have to be about that. This can just be about forgiveness and having peace and harmony and like uh, closure 
and so you can heal and nurture and move on from it without any cords still being tied to one another through negative energy, not forgiving, uh, not having peace or harmony or resolutions or anything like that. And that can be clearing space. It's clearing all the negative energy out of the situation and being able to move forward from it in a positive energy. So the spiritual path, that could be in the new path. Okay, in new beginnings. So we got new path, spiritual path. And we have new beginnings, so, and they're both green here, so. All right, so let's get one for forgiveness. The mother, so this is the empress. So you could be a mother. This could be with a mother situation. Uh, the empress can talk about uh, mother figures. So whether or not that um, makes sense for you, or if, I'm getting, if you are a mother or dealing with a mother or mother type figure, something may have happened in that di dynamic that needs forgiveness. And the mother, the empress, always is something creative, something new, creates something new. So that's creating this new beginning between this relationship dynamic, just being in a more healing, forgiving kind of energy, um, peaceful, harmonious energy moving forward and not being stuck in any negative energy. That's clearing that, clearing space, clearing all that toxic energy out. All right, so what's this Archangel Uriel? For Leo. So now we have the King of Shields. So again, knowing your value, your self-worth, being stable, sturdy, and grounded. Um, this is, um, you know, let me put these this way. Um, so that, you know, the King of Pentacles, King of Shields, is somebody who is very stable. They grounded um, this growth, expansion. They know their value, their worth. They have a lot of value. They're also very abundant in life. So I think this can bring abundance into your life and new beginnings here by being in this energy. And I just want to read a little bit about Uriel again. Uh, see. So let's see. Enhances our spiritual vision and our ability to radiate the light of our soul in all that we do. It is especially useful if we suffer hostility or mistreatment from other people. Uriel can give us the inner peace to protect our own being and the strength to behave with compassion even to those who hurt us. And also knowing your self-value and worth. With that uh, king or queen doesn't matter. Uh, pentacle kind of energy also. So what is this new beginning for Leo? What is this new beginning about for Leo? The Fool. Wow, I can't make this up. <laughs> the Fool here. So jumping into something, resetting at zero. Taking a leap of faith in something here. That will lead to happiness, joy, everything positive with the sun energy. Jumping right into a new beginning, whatever that may mean for you. Trusting everything will be fine. Know everything will be fine. You can jump right in, take this new beginning. Leap of faith. You can reset at zero and move forward. All right. I don't know. I just feel like I need one more. You know, one more for that. Jumping into something. What are we jumping into? Three of Wands. So, again, you know, waiting. Waiting here for something. Um, waiting for something. Waiting to take this leap of faith, though. Because it's been some painful, some kind of painful ending here with the Ten of Swords energy. So, um, let's get another one here. Six of Cups. So, could be, again, it could be Six of Cups talks about, um, it could be family, friends from the past. So, again, could be someone you know for a very long time. Looking back with fond memories, nostalgia, as you see, kind of looks like mother and daughter here energy here. So, I definitely feel like I'm getting, like, a family energy now. Um, a new beginning, like with this person, uh, there may have been a painful, a hurtful ending. Maybe there's been waiting, waiting, not sure when to, when should I step in, step up to the plate, offer stability and forgiveness to have a new beginning with this person that I love dearly from the past. So there can be a new beginning with this person had here. If it's a family member, an old friend kind of energy. A relationship harmony what is that the queen of shields so now we got the king and queen of shields this definitely could be parent parent child parents whatever here dynamic here again that stable secure grounded energy 
value, self value worth, seeing the value and worth in something. So just looking into the pentacle saying, you know, I need to bring value and worth back into this relationship, bring the harmony back in the forgiveness, the new beginning. So what is this nurture about the moon? So I'm not quite sure how to do it. I feel <laughs> the moon can be a confusing energy, like not quite sure. You can't see clearly, you can't see the path clearly, you know, it's there, you know, you need to go down that path, but you're just confused on how to get there because you can't see how it'll all turn out. So, but that also the moon can also represent deep feelings and emotions. So it could be a very emotional time. Um, Secrets, I'm not getting like any kind of secretive energy, but it can be about things coming to light. All right, so seeing the light. So what is this clear your space? So we have the lovers here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover lover. Uh, that can be just becoming, coming into peaceful, harmonious union with, it could be a friend, a family, co-worker, soulmate, lover. It can be whatever here. And this is about making choices. So making the choice here to clear toxic energy out of a situation. And decluttering too. Maybe you need to declutter. If some of you, if you are married, maybe have a lot of clutter. It's time to clutter. Clear that clutter. <laughs> maybe you and your spouse have like accumulated over the years. It's like out of control. So, you know, if you've been putting it off, it's like, okay, we really got to clean all this crap. And you'll feel so much better, so much lighter um, overall. But for some of you, it could be making that decision to come back into peaceful, harmonious union and nurturing, healing, and forgiving in some sort of uh, relationship. And I'm getting a strong like family dynamic because you see uh, the king, a queen, a shields, usually a married couple, you know, parents. So we have like family uh, picture there of a parent and a child. And the Empress is a mother, says the mother, right on it. So, I mean, I can't make that up. So let's see what we have here with Peridot and life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So whatever happened here, whatever the pattern is, whatever the energy is, realizing what it is, how you can overcome that, what's the lesson in that, how can we let go with that, let that go, overcome it, and just clear it out of this uh, relationship. And learning the lessons of that. So we have the hanged man. So yeah, in reverse. So not uh, ready now to take action to the Ten of Cups. So <laughs> peaceful, harmonious relationship, family dynamic here. Ready, the hanged man is in reverse. So ready now to take action. You know, gain your perspective. You learn the lessons. You thought it through. You kind of hung back for a while. Took a break, took a pause. But now you're in reverse. And so now you're standing upright. And you're ready to go into like you see the whole family here just peace happiness fulfillment in every single way ready to uh, bring that back in so we have Sugglelite here your divine own your divine power replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment the tower yeah so that may, it may come as a shock to people when you finally stand up for yourself and say you know what it's time I invest in myself. I'm always pleasing everybody else, doing everything for everybody else. And you never stand up for yourself. You never say no. You never cause any arguments or nothing. You're just, not that you let people walk all over you, but it's like, you know, okay, yes, yes. It's always a yes. And now it's like, you know what? You may get to a point where you may just like break. You may even flip out. Be like, you know, no, no more. I'm tired of this. And you may just like wig out. And everyone's going to be like shocked, like, whoa, what the heck's going on here? You know, she never says, he, she never says no. And now people are going to be in shock. And you may just erupt and be like, no more, I've had it. And set your boundaries. It can be a good thing. And something you may need to do here. All right. I'm getting like shock, surprise, and you may just like burst and be like, that's it, no more. Finally say no. Time I invest in myself. So spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Yeah, Eight of Shields. So working, working on yourself. Again, working on yourself. Eight of Shields is about putting in work. And I feel like working on yourself, on you, your path, your spiritual path, your well-being. And that kind of energy. Taking life like in a di different direction here than what you've been doing. Investing in yourself once. So 
So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Shields. Again, investing in yourself. It's the Seven of Shields. And overcoming this toxic energy. And I'm not getting like, uh, and it could be this toxic energy that was in this relationship over here. And also this energy of always saying yes, yes, yes. And um, not standing up to people. It's kind of energy I'm getting with that. So let's get an answer to your question. We could get advice. We could get guidance. We could get an answer. Whatever your question is, Leo. Let's see what we get here. And I do ask Leo, if you're new, you like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. And um, if you subscribe, hit the bell. Like I said, I do four different readings right now, but I may narrow that down and just do two. You can let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel, whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for personal reading, um, subscribed, or whatever. Thank you so much. Oh, wow, that's too many. I just want one. For Leo, an answer to Leo's question. Guidance, advice for Leo's question at this time, please. Spare and angels. Okay, that one's sticking in my hand. Let's see what we have for you. Don't stop. So this is telling you whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking of doing, whatever path you're on, whatever direction you're going in, your angel team wants you to know, don't give up, don't stop, keep going. You're going in the right direction. Keep working at it. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on these relationships, healing, nurturing, forgiving, having a new beginnings, clearing away ne negative energy, standing up for yourself and taking action and investing in yourself, Leo. Wow, Leo. Okay, best of luck to you, Leo, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channels, always, always shine your light.